Buccaneers, this is our New Orleans Guide with Kids, and we are going to show you the fun things you can do here. Hotel accommodations was provided by Hyatt House New Orleans. We are at the St. Louis Cemetery number one, and we are going on a tour with Save Our Cemeteries. This is the only nonprofit cemetery restoration and tour organization specifically dedicated to the promotion and protection of the New Orleans historic cities of the dead. Miss Patricia will be our tour guide on this rainy day. She will be leading us through the oldest existent cemetery in New Orleans. These are what they call wall vaults. Wall vaults are pretty self-explanatory. They're a wall of vaults. In your city of the dead, these are your condominiums and apartments. This tomb has sunken halfway to the ground. A lot of people here died when they were really young. Miss Patricia is showing us diagrams of what the inside of the crypt looks like. Some tombs are in very bad shape due to age and vandalism. And some of them are in perpetual care. This one is a preservation in progress. Miss Patricia pointed out a funny obelisk. Since on this side you have Louis Armstrong who's buried in New York. All right, and Aaron Neville's still alive. Save Our Cemeteries is a great tour to go on because they tell you facts and history instead of supernatural mumble jumble. Other tours would lead you to believe an unmarked tomb belongs to Voodoo Queen Mary Laveau and have you leave hair ties as offerings. Now we're looking at a simple built tomb. Lay a brick on the ground and just set the casket on top and then bricked up around it. And one that's made for a society. We learned something new that the family of artist Edgar Degas has their tomb here. This is the only one here that looks like a tabletop. Several movies use this cemetery as their location, such as Easy Rider. This is Nicolas Cage's tomb. Paul Morphy, considered one of the greatest chess players, is buried here. Finally, we're looking at the real tomb of Mary Laveau, and Miss Patricia is telling us about voodoo. We learned a lot on this cemetery tour. Our next stop is New Orleans Botanical Garden. Located in City Park, this 12 acres of gardens and art is open year-round. The garden walk can take anywhere from 20 minutes to a couple of hours. There are several sections within this garden. We're at a Japanese garden. It feels very zen in here. Now we're at the train garden. Unfortunately, there is no train today because it only operates on weekends. Now we are in Storyland. This playground is filled with 20 larger than life storybook sculptures featuring classic fairy tale characters. Three, two, one, blast off! Brother is having a lot of fun here. I'm going inside the whale from Pinocchio. And here comes Brother. Our next stop is the New Orleans Museum of Art. This is Mario. Now we're having lunch at Mario. Opened in 1911, this is the city's oldest fine arts institution. The museum hosts an impressive permanent collection of almost 40,000 objects. Naked people again. We're going to the second level. Here are a couple paintings of Louisiana. Now we're going to enter the cabin full of gold. We're pretending that it's raining. Brother is going to take some pictures with his phone. Now he's adding his cow to the pictures. We had so much fun here. Our next stop is the Pito's house. Constructed in 1799, this is the only Creole colonial country house that is open to the public in New Orleans. We're looking at the dining room, and the kitchen used to be outside, and so was the staircase. Let's go to the second floor. 
Brother is playing with the spinning wheel. Don't break it or else we'll have to pay for it. Now we're looking at a mold for making candles and a mouse trap. The docent is showing us a bed made of ropes. Anyone ever said to you when you're going to bed to sleep tight? You know where that comes from? Uh, tighten the ropes, sleep tight. So you get your ropes tight. So you're not sagging down in the middle of your bed when you're sleeping. Um. Come on, let's go check out another room. Here's a painting of Mr. Petote, the first mayor of New Orleans. Brother thought that bed was a bunk bed, and he's cracking himself up. The tour guide is showing us an antique laptop that's equipped with a feather pen and a stamp. This bed is covered with a mosquito net. We're smelling the root of a giant grass plant which has a perfume aroma. Now we're going out to the balcony. There is a great view of the bayou, and you can even see downtown New Orleans from here. Lastly, the docent is showing us what the interior of the wall looks like. Let's go to our final destination. We are in the French Quarter. Our next stop is the Voodoo Museum. Opened in 1972, this museum features historic voodoo relics, paintings, sculptures, and other artifacts. I'm learning about the origin of voodoo and Mary Laveau, the voodoo queen. We see many altars as we walk down the corridor. Why is there so many dollar bills and coins here? And there are even more altars in this room. Some believe that the voodoo wishing stump can make your dreams come true. Let's see what's in this gallery. Lastly, we're looking at some voodoo dolls. Now I'm going to talk to a staff here at the museum. Hello, how you doing? My name is Madame Cinnamon Black. I'd like to welcome you to the Historical Voodoo Museum. So you come to see voodoo, huh? Why are there so many dollar bills in there? They have a lot of dollar bills in there because in order to receive, you have to give. This is the famous picture of Marie Laveau. They say that this picture here is the closest to her likeness. Look what she has on her head, and what I tried to make on my head. It's called the Tino, better known as a purse. Then she showed me some Gris Gris, an African or Caribbean charm used in voodoo. Next time you want to do some voodoo or get someone, get someone, come see me. I got you. I'm a Dom Cinema Black. We had so much fun in New Orleans. Stay tuned for part three. Please hit the subscribe button and remember to look for your own adventure. <laughs>